What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm super excited to be bringing you guys Venusaur returning in Regulation F. Venusaur is such a cool Pokemon and just recently returning to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in the Indigo Disc DLC. This Pokemon kind of feels like a trip down memory lane considering it is the first starter in the Pokedex and it is one of the first Pokemon in the Pokedex. Like I said, love this Pokemon. I feel like everybody loves this Pokemon. I'm super excited to actually use Blastoise down the road as well. But more so on the Venusaur, Venusaur is such a top tier Pokemon. When it comes to competitive fight, it's always so strong because it is a great Pokemon on a Sun team. And that's exactly what we're doing today. We got Ninetales and we also have a returning Pokemon of Whimsicott to set the Sun today. So pairing both of them up with Venusaur makes Venusaur double speed due to its ability Chlorophyll. We got the Y Lens on it as its item and then a phenomenal move set of Sleep Powder to pair up that with that Y Lens Giga Drain for stab and HP recovery. Then we got Weather Ball to give it a nice little hitting move in the sun. But yeah, Venusaur, absolutely amazing. I'm hoping I can showcase it to its fullest potential. And like I already mentioned, we got Nine Tails and Whimscott on here for a little bit of support and a little bit of sun setting. But we also have a uh, kind of a new Pokemon to this game. We got Walking Wake on this team. Walking Wake's got the Life Orb and it's just such a solid Pokemon in the sun. So super excited to be bringing him in here as well. Then we got Chiyu and Landorus. Chiyu pairs up with all the special attackers like Venusaur and Nine Tails. And Landorus with the Choice Scarf is just a solid back end Pokemon. Being able to outspeed late game and just do a massive amount of damage but um hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video if you do enjoy it make sure you leave a like on it and if you're not subscribed to the channel i seriously don't know what you're doing click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my regulation f content goes live but without further ado let's hop into our first match before we roll out to match number one, want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. It goes by the name of Chwarzard. I got this team off of Twitter and realized it was made by him. So huge shout out to him. Thank you so much for making this team and making a rental code for everybody to enjoy. But hopping into our first match, we're going up against Entei and Walking Wake team. So you got Paradox form of Suicune alongside with Entei. And Entei is a really cool Pokemon and its uh, Paradox form is really cool. Definitely want to showcase that very soon on the channel. I got a lot of teams lined up for you guys. But they got Amoongus. An annoying sleep setter. Venusaur is not an annoying sleep setter. Amoongus is. They also have a low on nine tails to set the lovely little hail. So I might want to lead like Whimsicott out here. Just so I can set sunny day whenever I please. They also have Entei, Shen Pao, and Landorus just like us in the back end. Um, who should I go into here? I definitely want to bring in Venusaur at some point. Venusaur is just an absolute stud. But I could also lead it with Whimsicott. Whimsicott is going to be top tier within Regulation F. And I just feel like it's just going to be such a good lead here because we can set up Tailwind. We can go into Sunny Day if we want to. We can just do plenty. So I'm going to go Whimscott here. I'm also going to go... Do I go Venusaur here? Yes. Maybe? Yes. Should I? Yes. Yes. We're going to go Venusaur. And then uh, back end Pokemon. We're going to go Chiyu and either Walking Wake or Landorus. Who would I rather have here? Walking Wake's not bad. I think it has Dragon Move, Water Move, Fire Move, Protect. Yes. Um, not bad. Not too bad. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna give it a shot here. We're gonna give it a shot here. I haven't really used Walking Wake too much. I might have used it like once on the casual ladder before this, but that's about it. So we're gonna give it a shot here. We're gonna give it a shot. I don't know how good it actually is. I don't really know too much about its stats, but the main focus of today's video is Venusaur. So we're gonna be pushing him, trying to use him as much as possible. But uh, let me know in the comment section down below, other Regulation F Pokemon you guys want to see on the casual ladder leading up into the rank ladder. So um, I got Hydrapple team coming, I got Gouging Fire coming, who else do I have? I have, I have all the new Pokemon, the, uh, the Terrakion form I have as well, Paradox. There's a lot of new Pokemon coming onto the video, but um, they're going to lead Amoongus alongside with Venusaur. So they can't put me to sleep, I got two grass types on the field. Um, I could go a nice little hot sunny day here. Walking wake, little annoying, but I think I'm just gonna sunny day and maybe just throw it to sleep. I might just throw it to sleep. I'm gonna throw a walking wake to sleep. I doubt you go for rage powder here. I really doubt it. So I think we're just going for a sleep powder right here early with uh into walking wake. It's just gonna be good for us. So we set the lovely sun. Venusaur is now gonna double its speed. Walking wake. We're gonna say night night because I'm not missing with that wide lens. So we put this boy to sleep. He's looking amazing. And Amoongus, what are you going for here? I, I wonder what Amoongus is going for, to be honest with you. Can't put me to sleep. You try putting me to sleep. We're both grass types. It won't affect me. That was very si silly. Very, very silly. But from here, Moonblast is going to fly here. And I think we just rip Weather Balls into Amoongus. Right? Nice, lovely Weather Ball. Get that Fire Boost. 
It's going to be a fire move considering we're in the sun. And just have Amoongus just chunk up some damage on the Walking Wink. It's going to be good. Beautiful. Lovely. So they waste a turn going for Sport. Venusaur ready to get pushing. But the best part about Venusaur is when it uses Sleep Powder, it shoots the powder out of the top of its plant. So it just makes the animation look 10 times cooler. It really does. So Weather Ball is going to come out here, forming into fire into Amoongus and doing a great chunk of damage. Doing a great chunk of damage. Venusaur just has such a high special attack. It's just beautiful. It really is. Walking Wake still asleep. Mwah. It's lovely. And Amoongus, what are you doing here? Going for... Didn't you learn your lesson? It does not affect me. It does not affect me. Are you choice or something? Are you choice or something? I don't know. I don't know. But sometimes you get these opponents on the casual ladder. But it makes sense. We're just trying to have some fun in today's video. And just showcase a brand new Pokemon. But this match seems like it's going to be pretty easy. Good thing we did lead the Venusaur. And just start chunking up with that. But this turn seems like it's going to be a double kill. Unless they Terrasalize or swap out. I got some speed going here. And they're not doing anything. So we can wave bye bye to Amoongus. Get them on out of here. And we can say bye bye to Walking Wake. Get them on out of here. <laughs> so that's start for us in today's video. Um, yeah. Hopefully we get a... Uh, wait, did we miss this Moonblast? I uh, know. I feel like the casual ladder has been a little bit laggy. I wouldn't say laggy, but the moves have been coming out a little late. Usually when the moves come out late, it means you miss them. So it's been throwing me off a little bit. It definitely has been. But taking out the Walking Wake, taking out the Moongus, we still have Venusaur chilling in the sun. If they go into a Lola Ninetales here, I'm just going to pop the sun again. I got pranks their sunny day. It's going to come out first every single time. And yeah, this just seems wraps, right? Such an easy first match. Hopefully in the second match we get ourselves a better opponent and a better match for you guys. But not a bad start for us. Showcasing Venusaur, putting a Pokemon to sleep, doing some big time damage with Weather Ball. And kind of just getting after it. But our opponent's kind of struggling to pick right now. You have two Pokemon. Just click A on both of them. That's how it's going to work. That's how it's going to work. That's how you're going to get it done. That's how you're going to get it done. But um, while we have this short little break, I want to give a huge shout out to um, everybody who has been supporting me in regulation. Now, if the views have been doing great, I just want to give you guys all a shout out. You guys really help me grow as a content creator. So again, if you guys aren't subscribed, click that big red subscribe button. And if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, you guys can consider becoming a member. There is a link down in the description below. Alongside with all the Pokey Pace, I've been uh, throwing every single Pokey Pace down in the description below. So if you guys are looking for EVs, move set items all that good stuff on the pokemon like i said head down in the description below you got you guys the pokey pace been throwing them in most of my videos for regulation F. I think all my videos of regulation F have them but um shen pao entei come out here and now if we look there's a little problem here like they have some fast moves they have sucker punch they have e speed on entei um i could terrestrialize in the dark i don't think i do i think i might just throw a moon blast and giga drain and double down into this thing I could actually Terrasalize in the fire, and I'm actually going to do that. Considering there's an Ice-type Pokemon on the field and a Fire-type Pokemon. So might as well Terrasalize into a Solid-type, and that can, block, that can uh, make both those typings not very effective on me. So perfect Terra-type for Venusaur. Love the little chandelier on his head with candles. Looking so dope. It just goes right on top of the plant. Right on top of the plant. Giga Drain going to come out here. Lovely damage. Dealing some big-time damage. And Ice Soak Crash going to come out here. This is exactly why we Terrasalize, able to soak that pretty well. And Moonblast should be able to finish off Shen Pao, right? Yep, that's exactly why we double down. And Whip's got just so good. It's so good on the support side, plus his special attack is rather decent. So hitting with Moonblast can do a decent amount of damage. He ends up doubling down on my Venusaur, and that Terror type is too perfect. It's way too perfect. It is way too perfect. From here, we're just going to rip a Moonblast here. We don't really have any strong moves, but hopefully they just cancel battle, right? I could go for the sweep if I would have just swapped Venusaur, but I was kind of hoping they would just cancel battle. And he's going to be able to take out my one of my Pokemon here, right? He's going to be able to take out one of my Pokemon, correct? We do get the special attack drop. Not bad. He goes for another Sacred Fire to try to finish off Venusaur, and down goes the Venusaur, man. I was hoping to keep him in the whole battle, but it's all good. Now we can just bring in, like, Landers. Pretty much clean this one up. No problem. Actually, we didn't bring Landers. We brought Walking Wake. And it's actually a perfect Pokemon to bring right now. We got Hydro Steam. We got Hydro Steam. So I'm going to bring out my Walking Wake. I'm going to start throwing stuff after him. And I could set up another Sunny Day. And you know what? I think this move does get a boost in the sun. It's boosted by 50% in the sun. So yeah, might as well. Might as well set the sun. Get a 50% boost. 
Absurd. It's a water move that gets 50% boost. Plus, we proc Protosynthesis. Boosting my special attack. So, yeah. We can say bye-bye to Entei here. Life Orb Hydro Seam coming out here. Later, Entei. Get on out of here. There's match number one. Showcasing Venusaur very well. Getting Walking Wake out there in, uh, in the end there. So, let's go hop through a second match. Look for a better battle here. All right. We're here. Match number two coming at you guys and we're going up against a bunch of new regulation f pokemon this is why i love the casual ladder it's so much fun going up against brand new pokemon they got raging bolt who we just showcased if you haven't checked out the video go check it out on the channel that pokemon is phenomenal very high special attack they also have incineroar again another phenomenal pokemon cannot go wrong with incineroar in regulation f they got fluttermane strong pokemon uh archaludon Really cool Pokemon. I don't think it's that strong. I did showcase it on channel, but I don't think it's anything crazy. They also have Tornadas and Bastion. So they can go into Rain Squad if they want to. I almost positive you're going to lead Tornadas here, right? That's the only way of weather control. And this team just screams Sun Team, right? So I could go Wimscott. I could go Venusaur again. I'm thinking of going Venusaur maybe alongside with Lando. Or I could just go Chiyu. I mean, Chiyu's not bad. I do like me a good old Chiyu. I mean, again, they have rain. They can really get after it that way. Uh, but I like these two. I'm going to go Ninetales as a back-end support just so we can set this on. And then late game, probably Lando, right? Intimidate can come in hot here. They have a few Pokemon that are weak to ground-type moves. And Lando's just going to be able to outspeed with the Choice Scarf. So, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Match number two on its way. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, but I wonder who they're going to lead. I mean, Tornadus, I think Tornadus has got to be. I feel like if they don't go to Anonymous, it really give us an upper hand and we can get things started off hot here. But you never know. You never know. You never know. Do 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 do. But yeah, I, I I have my teams up to my other monitor, and I'm just I'm just too excited, man, to showcase all these new Pokemon. I got a Hydrapple team I'm looking at right now. I think that might be next. I know a lot of you guys want to see Hydrapple. I am looking for a Blastoise team. If you guys do have teams, make sure you guys leave them in the comment section down below or do me one better. Head over to my Twitter page and uh, DM me over on Twitter or leave a reply in one of my tweets. Because I love getting teams from you guys. But Incineroar and like we said, Tornadus does come out here. They could set the weather. They could also fake me out. And I think in this case, we might just protect and Terrasalize Ghost. Maybe just pop a Heat Wave. And maybe just pop a Heat Wave. They could set up Tailwind. They could set up Tailwind. The thing is, I don't really want Thrasilize here. I'm just going to protect the Venusaur. Because I think they fake out the Venusaur more so than anything. So I'm going to choice into Heat Wave here. Just steal some damage onto Tornadus and protect the Venusaur. Because I think that Pokemon is going to get faked out more than Chiyu. Am I correct there? Now you're going to go for a Taunt. They try to block Sleep Patterns. They try taunting me. They go for Taunt. I'm able to get off this lovely Heat Wave. Doing some crazy damage to Tornadus. Parting shot now comes out here, and that's totally fine because I can swap into Sun. I can swap into Sun next turn. Unless they make a hard read on me swapping. Unless they make a hard read on me swapping. So they do that. I think they're going for a Bleak Wind Storm here. Let's see who they bring out here. Who are you bringing out here? Is it Bashkew Legion? That's the real question. Is it If it is Bashkew Legion, we might just swap to you into like Landorus instead of Ninetales. Because if it is Bash they're going to set the sun right away. It's going to be Raging Bolt. So Raging Bolt comes out here. I don't mind that too much. And I think from here now, it's just a perfect time to get rid of Tornadus. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Tornadus here. And I'm just going to hard swap into Ninetales just so we get some speed cooking here. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So I'm going to swap to you. I'm going to get my special attack back, considering they just party shot at me. And Raging Bolt's looking... Mm, I don't know what to, what to think of Raging Bolt, man. That Pokemon's so strong. Like I said, I do have Landers in the back end, which is solid for us. We do pop Protosynthesis for it, which is something I kind of totally forgot about. And he pops a Rain Dance, reading me hard, man. That's a big-time read for them. That's a massive read for them. That's a massive read. Actually, taking off the Protosynthesis, not bad, not bad. I mean, we have to swap Ninetales out of here. But it is kind of tough seeing this Pokemon on the field. Um, okay. Rage Bolt's gonna go for a Calm Mind. Oh, we don't like that. You're going to sleep. You're going to sleep. Unless Incineroar comes back out here. That could be tough news if Incineroar comes back out here, which is a high chance. Oh, no. Not Raging Bolt. Not the Bolt Ski, dude. So that turn was massive for them. 
that turn was massive. They read the swap, they set up the rain. And they go from there. So Incineroar comes back out here. Um, I really want to put him to sleep. Oh, I have a jack pack. Oh, yes. That's actually perfect. A jack pack working perfect. And now I could just go into Lando. Yeah, Lando's totally the play with that speed. It's just perfect. It's just perfect. So I'm going to go into Lando here. I mean, he could fake me out. That's a real problem. I could go Chiyu and just Terrasilize. I think that's more so my play. Terrasilize Chiyu and the Ghost. I could have intimidated, but then just a fake out into the Lando slot could do me dirty. Um, huh. He might taunt me. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna choice into Snarl or Dark Bulls. I'm gonna lower that region Bulls attack. I'm gonna choice into Snarl here. Yeah, because I can always swap to you. The Snarl's gonna come out here. Raging Bolt, of course, dodges it. The one Pokemon that I wanted to hit was the Raging Bolt. He dodges it. Um, Venusaur's gonna be able to drop a Weather Ball, which is good. In the rain, super effective. And that KO's Incineroar, so that's big time. Raging Bolt, its speed's rather slow. So I'm thinking if I can just get rid of. Are we just gonna Draco Meteor me? That's, I'm dead. I'm dead to that. I was gonna say, I'm thinking if I could just get rid of whatever Pokemon's on the right side. Lando should be able to clean up this match. But Venus were getting work done. Weather Bolt in the rain. Really worked out well. I'm guessing they have Basque Legion. And if that's the case, I'm just going to go into Ninetales to take Weather right here. Right? I don't understand any other reason to as why they would want to set the rain. I mean, maybe just to counter my team. But I would think they would have Basque Legion in the back end, right? Is this Basque? No, it's Flutter. Flutter, Flutter. So... Sun comes out, we Protosynthesis double pop. Oh, not the double pop. Not the double pop. Double pop's looking scary. Double pop is looking scary. I am going to go for an overheat here into you. Because again, I can win the one-on-one -on -one all day. Unless you have Grass Terror type, which is a high chance. I still have Terror for you, don't I? With flying. That could be good. It's going to be tough, though. But I'm just going to go for a Snarl here. I'm choosing that. And I'm looking to overheat the Fluttermain slot. So the Terror comes out right now. And I wonder who that's going to be. It's going to be Fluttermain. So again, we don't have to worry about Raging Bolt. We just have to worry about Fluttermain. And doubling down in the Fluttermain is going to be good. Especially if I can land a nice big time overheat. An overheat in the sun. Woo! Could be good. Thunderclap's going to come out here. And I'm able to soak really well. Moonblast's going to also fly. And that might KO me. That That's probably KO me, right? To you with with the eat up with the eat up that's massive that's massive that pretty much just won us the match that pretty much just won us the match special attack drops over he comes in should clear out the flutter main does not clear out the flutter main but again both of them are minus one on special attack so you know what i'm just gonna try to get rid of the flutter main that's my main goal here is to try to get rid of the flutter main lando can clean up that raging bolt no problem like we said fifty thousand times but it's water time. Gotta stay hydrated. It's tough being a Pokemon trainer, you know? You gotta stay hydrated with that. <laughs> but they end up protecting the Fluttermane. I don't mind that too much. I think they'd look to get rid of the Chiyu. Yeah, with Thunderclap. And that's fine. I mean, I get to bring out my Lando. My Lando. And you are both minus one on special attack, which is just huge. You can't Thunderclap me, which is, again, huge. We can just go into you. Cool. Cool. So I still have Terror type too. I still do have Terror type and I don't think there's really a point of me terrestrializing, right? I don't think there is unless I want to go into you, water. Not really. Not really. Gonna look to land another overheat and I'm just gonna stay my typing. My typing is too good. My typing is way too good. So Moonblast is gonna fly through here. He's definitely going after my Lando. You're minus one on special attack. And we soaked that up all day. So there's a soak up for that. Stop the catch. I'm going to fly over onto you. We almost KO. And overheat's going to finish you off. So both my Pokemon outspeed them. I am scared of Thunderclap. I am scared of Thunderclap. But I wonder what he's going for here. If he goes for 
The only move you can KO my landers with is Draco Meter, but then that just lowers your special attack. Let's see. Yeah, you do go for Draco Meter. So Draco Meter finishes me off, and again, the, I don't think you can KO me. Because you, this Pokemon's gonna have to KO me with Thunderclap, right? He's gonna have to KO me with Thunderclap, and I'm full HP. I'm minus four on special attack, and I think this thing's minus three, correct? He's minus four as well. Wow. Yeah, you are not KOing me. You are not. I just have to land one of these overheats. I have two overheats, and I have a feeling I'm gonna miss both. Nope, we land the first one. Beautiful. Rage Bolt. So, so, she soaks it? You soak that? Yo, if you get a crit, I'm gonna cry. All right, cool. He's minus six now. All right, the real question is, I just gotta go for an overheat, right? Yeah, it has higher accuracy than Will-O-Wisp, so yeah, overheat's gonna be my play. That's wild. That is so wild. That's so wild. Overheat does land. Okay, we land all five overheats. That's massive. I'm surprised how little damage I did. I understood Raging Bolt was plus one on special defense. But hey, what a solid second match. We played really well and grab you guys a win. So far, we're having a great recording session, starting off 2-0. But now we're in our third and final match. We're going up against like a half evolution team. Sylveon... Umbreon and Espeon. So three evolutions alongside with three very strong Pokemon, Glamora, Ogre Pond, and Incineroar. I think Incineroar is potentially going to be their lead. I could just set the sun with Ninetales right off the rip, right? I can just go Ninetales Venus right here, and I think that is our best bet. They have no way of weather control. This could be good for us. I could go Whimsicott instead, but the only problem is going to be Incineroar. I think we're going to need a Pokemon like Walk and Wake in the back end to help clean up that mess. Then on top of that, I can just bring to you for that heavy special attacker, making a nice little hyper offensive in the back end. So everything's looking good for this battle. I think we should come out of here with a 3-0 uh, perfect record. I think, I think. Don't quote me on that if we lose this. I'm telling you right now, you quote me on that, I'll kick you out of this channel. Just kidding. I love all you guys. You guys are seriously amazing. And thank you guys so much for all the comments. I love reading you guys' comments too. So if you guys just want to say hi, say, hey, what's up? Let me know in the comment section down below. Honestly, if you made it this far, leave me a comment. This is the third and final battle. Not everybody makes it here. So if you made it this far, you probably actually like my videos enough. And I'm happy for that. I am. So leave me a comment. Say, hey, say, what's up? Ask me a question. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But uh, they intimidate me and I check pack out right away. That's fine because now... And only now, I could bring out Walking Wake. Oh yeah, we're definitely bringing out Walking Wake. We have to pose a threat to that Incineroar. We're gonna bring out Walking Wake. So we get the sun ripping right off the front. And I feel like a Jack Pack Sun Setters, or just like Weather Setters, is gonna be so good up against Incineroar. Cause you get the sun out there, then you get to bring out another Pokemon. But from here, I can go for a nice little Hydro Steam, which I am gonna do. Rip right into you, and if I can, do I try to size into fire here? I mean, you are rock type, which is kind of annoying. I think we just go after you, right? Because Incineroar is going to go for a fake out. It's going to clap into the walking wake slot, which is totally fine. Giga Drain is now going to fly here. We get off some nice damage. Nothing too crazy. And walking wake is going to flinch. And Immortal Spin's going to come out here. So he's going to throw poison onto, I think, only the walking wake. Because Venusaur is part poison type. So I don't believe it will be poisoned. Beautiful. So walking wake takes a poison. We can simply just start spamming Hydro Steam into this slot, which I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna keep Giga Draining down the Glamour slot, right? Just keep getting a constant stream of damage. Lovely. Being sure he gets back some HP, and he's chilling. So Walking Wake should outspeed the Incineroar. It does. Hydro Steam, I believe, KOs. Gets a 50% boost in the sun, and it just says Night Night to Incineroar. You're Walking Wake in the sun with the Life Orb. Getting it done. Getting it done. We love it. So, see you later, Incineroar. Get on out of here. And they set up a South Rock. So, they're kind of just trying to stall me out. But I think the problem with this team is we have so much offense here. We're not really going to be swapping out. We're just going to be, like, attacking, doing some big-time damage. That's the plan. That's the plan. So, Glamour probably dies out here to another Giga Drain. They're going to throw out their next Pokemon, which is going to be Umbreon. A rather bulky Pokemon. A rather bulky Pokemon. And I'm just going to stick with these Hydro Steams. Doing so much damage. So, Hydro Steam... I'm going to Giga Drain here. I could put Umbreon to sleep, but I'm not looking to do that this battle. And they're going to Spiky Shield me. They're going to Shield up with the Spikes. So Spiky Shield comes out here. Giga Drain gets the big old block. Good thing we're not physical attacking because we're not going to take any damage to that. Hydra Seam's going to continue to fly. Should do a nice chunk of damage on Umbreon, and it does. Hitting so hard in the, in the sun. Hitting a bit too hard. 
Wish comes out here, and yeah, you're trying to stall me out, but again, my team's just hitting way too hard. They really are. He's got leftovers. He might just protect the Umbreon here, and I might just double down and go more. Do I double down to Glamour? Yeah, I'm gonna make sure you die and we'll do more damage. Good Terrasolite's fire and go into uh, Weather Ball, but I just think Giga Dreams are play. I just think Giga Dreams are play. Yeah, I kind of knew he was gonna have a hot shot of protecting. That's why I went Hydro Steam into Glamour slot. I want to make sure that this, uh, this Glamour dies out here. And that's exactly what we're doing. Glamour, get on out of here. I think Umbreon's waiting for the wish. That's fine. And Glamour's just gonna drop out and die here. Night, night. And they're forced to throw out their final Pokemon. There's the wish, and I don't even think you got that much value out of it, right? I mean, you go back up to full HP, but you didn't attack me at all. You didn't do anything. <laughs> you didn't do anything. I mean, I guess you wasted out some time for the poison to set in, but now I get off another attack. Hey, it's a casual ladder. I think they're just trying stuff out. You never know. You never know. Sylveon comes out here looking adorable as ever. Um, Hydro Steam. I think we're just going to throw it into that slot. And I think we're just going to double down into the Umbreon slot. Knowing that he can't protect that slot. So they're going to Rasslize. I believe it's going to be Sylveon. Yeah. Sylveon gets the Terra and going straight parry. So he's just looking for damage here. We're thriving. This, this match is wraps. This match is wraps. We got nine tails in the back end. And on top of that, we have... Did I bring Chiyu? Yeah, I think I brought Chiyu. And a quick attack's gonna come out here. A Terra quick attack. Alright. Yeah, I got Chiyu. I can bring out Chiyu next turn if I want to. And I think I'm gonna do that. Chiyu, choice specs in the sun. Come on, man. Don't give me that option. <laughs> I'm gonna do some work. Do you go for another wish? You gotta knock this off. You gotta knock this off. You got Stealth Rocks. That's about it. But Chiyu definitely coming out here. We definitely bring a Chiyu out here. So Chiyu's gonna come out here. I think the sun actually just ended. So I might just swap Venusaur, even though Stealth Rocks are here, just to get Chiyu out in the sun, right? Probably your best bet. Beads of Ruin. The Beads of Ruin. We still have Terra type, but Heat Wave's gonna be our play. We're gonna go Heat Wave, right? Sun's gone. Yeah, Sun is gone. So we're gonna hard swap Venusaur into Night Tails. We just want that massive boost. We just want the massive boost. So Chiyu's get some crazy boost. Yes. Stab on fire moves. He's gonna get the sunlight boost. He's gonna get the choice specs boost. And on top of that, the fourth boost is gonna be the Beats of Ruin ability boost. And I think this might just pick up a double KO. I think this just might say, see you later, guys. It's game set match, right? Yeah, no problem. Those boosts are absolutely insane. 3 0 perfect record. You guys gotta love it. That is how you use Venusaur in competitive battles for regulation. Now, this Pokemon is going to be a huge threat once it comes out on the rank ladder, considering, obviously, any type of weather Pokemon that doubles its speed in certain weather is always really, really solid. Venusaur grabs a great moveset. He can put Pokemon to sleep. He can deal some big-time damage and, again, get a massive boost in that sun. So, again, going to be phenomenal Pokemon once the rank ladder comes out. And this team looks like it can actually be good on rank walking wake was absolutely amazing today being a great another great pokemon to actually do work in the sun you had pokemon like chiyu and landers for back end support and then whimsicott and ninetales being top tier sunsetters always solid for venusaur's partner but guys that is gonna be for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody